happening right now. Houston, Thank Texas you. police are giving an update on the murder of Migos rapper Takeoff. Let's listen in. We stood here um, a little bit, I think a month ago, maybe a day or two, and made a promise that we would get the individuals or the individual that's responsible uh, for the murder of Takeoff in custody. So yesterday evening, we arrested Patrick Xavier Brown, 33 years old. He was charged with the murder of Takeoff. Brown was arrested again yesterday evening in the 14700 block of Sterling Green Boulevard. It's located on the east side of Texas. I'm sorry, of Houston. Uh, again, Joshua, Cameron Joshua, 22 years old, was arrested on November the 22nd for felon in possession of a weapon. I'm going to turn it over to the mayor right now. And, uh, after that, uh, we're going to bring up the investigators and then the district attorney's office and then um, Commander Garcia will translate for us in Spanish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. And look, let me thank uh, your entire team and all of your law enforcement uh, partners uh, that have been working on this case. Let me thank the, uh, 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 the uh, prosecutors from the DA's office. I really appreciate their, pro uh, their, their presence and their work. And I've certainly realized that the work even continues in, uh, in this case. I do want to point out the fact that uh, over the last month, I've had um, uh, several conversations with the mayor of Atlanta, uh, Mayor Andre Dickens, kind of keeping him advised of this investigation and what was taking place, and talked with him as late as yesterday evening. Uh, to apprise him of what would be taking place uh, uh, today. Uh, look, it was about a month ago uh, when we stood here uh, uh, as a team to discuss the shooting death of Kirsten and Kyrie Ball, Ball uh, public members take off, we all knew him as take off, a talented entertainer and part of the Atlanta-based group, the Mikos. Um, I do also want to acknowledge Councilman Edward Pollard, who was with us uh, this afternoon. Um, but in more than an entertainer, he was a son, a brother, cousin, and a friend, and a mentor to those in the music industry. Uh, at that time, we also asked witnesses to help police identify Takeoff's killer and prevent more violence from happening in retaliation. I am glad that a suspect has been arrested and charged with Takeoff's death. Uh, it certainly, I think, will bring some comfort to the family, though it does not bring a Takeoff back. Uh, this is a significant step towards seeking justice, and I hope it also brings uh, additional comfort to all of those who love takeoff. Over the past few weeks, Chief Ben and I were asked often about the status of the investigation. Uh, the chief kept me informed about uh, the information that had been received, the evidence that has been collected, including the videos, uh, the video that was being reviewed. Uh, I want to express my regrets and disappointment uh, that this was a case of another a young man uh, taking the life of another young man for no for no reason. Uh, the gun violence uh, everywhere, not just in the city of Houston, has to stop. People are dying for little or no reason, and people are reaching for a deadly firearm uh, to settle sometimes a minor disagreements. But pulling a firearm can have um, deadly consequences uh, that you cannot undo. And so I'm glad that um, a arrest has taken place. Uh, that we do have someone uh, in custody. Uh, um, it is unfortunate. It really is unfortunate um, because it does not bring takeoff back. But to Chief Fenner, to you, to your command staff, to the investigators, to the DA's office, to all of the partners who helped, to those who provided tips, information, uh, let, me, let, me, let me thank you and then um, look forward to this um, investigation and prosecution continuing uh, on this matter. Thank you, Chief. Let me step up and make a quick correction on the uh, name. I had a misprint on my notes. Uh, it's a Patrick Xavier Clark, 33 years old, on the rest of the suspect, okay? Come on, Sarge. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Sergeant Michael Burrow with the Homicide Division. Uh, the chief was very gracious in recognizing a lot of the partners that we were involved with in this case. I did want to recognize a couple of other people that, uh, or organizations that helped a lot uh, with the investigation. Uh, the Houston Forensic Science Center, uh, 
our, our lab rats, so to speak, the people that do our forensic analysis. They work behind the scenes a lot. They don't get a lot of recognition, and they helped us answer a lot of important questions in this case when others would not. Uh, that includes our firearms section, our latent prints section, and our crime scene unit. Um, quick note, just uh, I know there's going to be a lot of questions about uh, the investigation. The investigation is still ongoing. We still have a lot of people that we're trying to locate and talk to, so we will be a little bit short on details here. We probably will not be able to answer all of your questions. But I can tell you, uh, to confirm some of the speculations out there, the event was a private party. Um, there was a lucrative dice game that went on at the event. There was an argument that happened afterwards outside the bowling alley, which led to the shooting. I can tell you that Takeoff was not involved in playing in the dice game. He was not involved in the argument that happened outside. He was not armed. He was an innocent bystander. Um, some important case factors. Uh, you know, the, the chief was, uh, was mentioning some of the, the timing here. I mean, we've boiled it down to over 30 people that were standing outside. We have an exact number. We're not going to put that out. When the shooting happened, um, literally every single one of those people left the scene without giving a statement to police. We found some, uh, a few of them that night. We found others since then. Uh, but it's important that those people come forward. And we're still looking to talk to a lot of those people. And we will be looking to find you. It will be easier if you come find us. It will be easier for you. It will be easier for us as well. Um, you know, essentially, we had to rely on a large volume of video surveillance evidence that came in and cell phone videos and audio, things that surfaced over time in some cases that weren't available immediately. We had to sift through all of that and use physical evidence and use shooting reconstruction and confirm uh, a lot of our ballistic evidence, uh, what weapons were involved, things of that nature. And through that, we were able to deduce that Patrick Clark is the lethal shooter in the case. And that's why he's being charged uh, with murder. Thank you, Sergeant. That's the DA's office. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Mm -hmm. My name is Ruben Perez, and I'm a Bureau Chief of the Special Crimes Bureau. My bureau was in charge of this investigation at the DA's office. I want to thank the prosecutors in my bureau for working extremely hard, and I really want to thank the HPD organization for all the work and the collaborative effort they put into this case along with the DA's office. And I also want to thank our federal partners uh, for, for their help. And I want to thank everybody who was involved in this case. Uh, I want to echo what the mayor said. I want to echo what uh, Chief Fenner said. And I want to ec uh, echo what the investigator said, that it took a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of patience. Uh, but um, we, we arrested this defendant. We look forward to prosecuting this case and um, want to send our sympathies to the family and uh, we look forward to prosecuting this case and we'll see everybody in court. Thank you. Muy buenas tardes. A nombre del jefe de la policía, Troy Pinner, y del alcalde, Turner, queremos dar las gracias al público por su asistencia en esta investigación. Eh, hace algunas horas el jefe de la policía le habló a la madre de nuestra víctima y le dio las noticias de que en efecto hemos arrestado a la persona responsable por este crimen. El individuo se llama Patrick Javier Clark, de 33 años de edad. Uh, and you've been listening to a news conference in Houston, Texas, where authorities announced the suspect uh, for the murder of Gwinnett County rapper from the Meagles group Takeoff has been arrested. His name is Patrick Xavier Clark, a 33-year-old, has been charged with murder. He was arrested last night in Houston, on the east side of Houston. Uh, the investigation still is going on, but we also learned that uh, Takeoff was an innocent bystander at that event that happened November 1st when he was shot at a private uh, party. They were having a lucrative dice game, they said, uh, and Takeoff was not even involved in the dice game, but was an innocent bystander and was shot and killed. Again, 33-year-old Patrick Xavier Clark has now been charged with his murder.